it was rough. Lecky says at one point in his book, I forgot the war. That's how bad it was. I forgot the war. My battle was with myself. My battle was with this environment. My battle was to stay sane. I heard a man talking about how you pray for death every day. Because nothing could be as bad as being there. The enemy, for them, is the jungle, the weather, the mud. And it kills. And you wake up every day and be please today, let it be the day I get shot. Somebody be a good guy and just shoot me! Robert Leckie was a writer before the war. I always wanted to be a writer since I can remember. He wrote a magnificent piece of prose. It's almost like a long poem called The Helmet for My Pillow, which was about his experiences. And the way he writes, I think, really kind of captures his soul. He, he has a, a very restless, at times poetic, and at times very blunt soul and personality. Writing was his life. I mean, you know, he was a, a sports writer or a stringer for the Bergen Record when he was 16. As soon as he came back, he went right back to uh, writing for the Bergen Record, then he wrote for the Associated Press. By the time he was done, he had published around 40 books. He needed to know that people wanted to read what he had to say. He needed to think that what he was doing was important. I think I've made a contribution, and I'm pleased with it. The Second World War was the defining moment in his life. It was always there. My dad died of Alzheimer's in 2001, towards the end, even where he had forgotten all of us. He never forgot being in the Pacific 